Hi, I'm Kate from Community Information Support Victoria, CISVIC for short. Our member agencies are independent, autonomous organisations. All are governed by a volunteer committee of management or board. A number of them are staffed only by volunteers, while others are a mix of paid staff and volunteers. Let's hear from a couple of our managers talking about the work that they do. For many people it is really difficult to come to an organisation and admit that you have no money for food and other essentials. We need to be really mindful that for many people they are facing a desperate situation. It is a matter of dignity for many and we need to respond accordingly. We're based in the Bayside and Kingston areas, so in Bayside but we work across Kingston and we work with people who are on low incomes and people who are very vulnerable going through a difficult time to provide information, advocacy and support for those people. We also provide a tax help program, a legal advice program and a counselling program for any members of the community and we provide no interest loan schemes so that people who, who want a loan to purchase a fridge that's broken down can come to us and have support to do that. Emergency relief is the program that brings the people in the door but then we are able to assist them with the other issues that may have led them to having no money for food and other items. So we are able to provide them with advocacy to um, companies that where they may be owing money. Um, we have counselling. Um, we've also got um, casework, so social workers that work with people on more complex issues. We have um, financial counselling, we also have a microfinance program that provides no interest loans to assist people with essential items for their homes. Our clients come from a range of different backgrounds. A large number of our clients are people on disability support pensions who are living in public housing and who have um, mental health and drug and alcohol issues, so that's a, that's a fair number of our people. We're also seeing an increased number of aged people in our particular community because they have been in rentals that have been relatively cheap in the past, but now that the area has developed, those rents are skyrocketing and people are having difficulty making ends meet. So they're becoming an increasing number of our clients. In developing the programs at our organisation, we look at the trends that are coming through the door. We look at our statistics over a period of time and we're mindful of the needs of the local community and developing programs that are going to respond to those needs. Our volunteers are absolutely essential. They do all the day-to-day -day running of the service. They provide information for people when they ring in or come into the office. They greet people when they come into the office. They interview all of the clients and assess what their needs are and then provide that support. And then they provide whatever the, the client needs. And that may be a, a food voucher, a food hamper, um, it may just be a phone call for them to advocate with an agency in that way. Um, it could be a whole range of different things, but the volunteers are absolutely crucial to operating. All of the volunteers undergo a training course and they're also provided with training and mentoring within the organisation and they develop more skills once they have completed the, the course and that assists them to interview and assess the clients that are coming in so that they can provide a informed response to those people and, and the needs that they have presented with. The volunteers, I think, get a sense of purpose out of it for some of them. Um, many of our volunteers are actually people who have retired, so they like to have something that's a regular way of assisting. I think they also get a sense of satisfaction in terms of assisting people who come in and they often come to me after they've seen a, a difficult client and they'll say, I feel really good because that person left happy. Someone who's come in perhaps very nervous and very upset that they can leave a bit more contented and feeling a bit more, um, more valued, I suppose. The volunteers are so valuable to our organisation. I can't really say enough about how much they assist us to provide the programs that we do.